สวัสดีค่ะ Nikki here with Nikki Feeding Souls and I want to share with you our Chef Mint at Home kit where we are going to be making our red curry and our pad k i m a n g Wun Sen. We've listened to you. We know this is what you crave, and we're going to make it. This all should take me about 20 minutes, um, and it's really simple. All the tools that you need: you're going to need a wok for the stir fry or a big skillet. We'll need a pot for the red curry. And a little bit of shopping board, and always some scissors. So I am going to go ahead and start off and get the red curry heated up. Really easy. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. Throwing it in the pot and turning up my heat. We're going to bring this to a boil before we add our protein and our vegetables. Here we go. So one thing for you to do before you start any of the cooking, I highly recommend separating out our kit so that you don't have a lot of plastic hanging around when you're trying to throw things in. And also another technique for uh, my OCD friends who likes things nice and properly, you can basically take these out of these packs. And go ahead and put them in the little bowls. Have your mise en place all ready to go. Mise en place meaning having all your preps cut, chopped, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all my vegetables just open and be ready to be put in when I'm ready to put all the ingredients in for my red curry. So. First thing I'm going to do while I get all this prepared is I'm going to rinse my vegetables. I'm going to have my bell pepper chopped, and um, you stay right here. Watch my curry. Rinse. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to have all my basil all laid out right here. I'm going to make these nice little strips for our red bell pepper. Take care of that. So pretty, the red, the green, all this flavor that goes into the red curry is so awesome. So those are my red curry mise en place. Now I have my meat for our pad k i m a wun sen. From your pantry, you're gonna need some oil, two eggs, and then the rest we have provided for you. We have our clear noodles that we pre-soaked, so it's gonna be super easy to cook up. This dish again. Once you have everything ready to go, it should take no more than, depending on how hot your uh, stove top is, um, less than 10 minutes. So we have the pad k i m a l sauce. We have some of the vegetables that we need to go ahead and prep. I'm gonna open it up, rinse them, and get them ready to go. This is the lettuce that we put on the bottom. Of our pad k i m a l so I'm gonna rinse this real quick. Um, yes, you have a question for me, Nox? Oh my! How do we know when in. the red curry is but wrong, um, done? <laughs> Good question. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. Answer the question. Into the <laughs> red curry. We have our bamboo and I'm gonna use my ladle. To just kind of stir it up. I'm gonna let that simmer for about five minutes or so, and then I'm gonna add my bell peppers so they don't get overcooked, and then my basil as well. Thanks, Nox. I'm gonna turn this down to about medium heat and just let it cook through. Okay. So in the mies for our p a t i m a w u n s e n Is we have the garlic and the jalapeno. We have some basil, and then we have the red bell pepper and a tomato. So I'm gonna go rinse all of this up real quick. Okay, beautiful. So we're gonna quarter our tomatoes. I know people like to make everything just like we do in the restaurant because we want to replicate your soul feeding dish. And what we do is we just quarter these. We have eight pieces. We are going to do the same thing to the red bell pepper that we did to the red curry, which is just cut them into strips. 
And if you like them shorter, more bite size, I'm gonna go and do that for you here. I just do one cut down the middle and that's ready. My basil is ready. I'm gonna chop up our uh, garlic. Watch your fingers, please. This is really what makes Thai food Thai food. All of our stir fries normally will start off with some chopped garlic. And um, if you like things spicy, there'll be some top, chopped Thai chili in there. Thai chili is not easy to come by all year long. And for us to be able to continue to serve you a consistent flavor profile, we use jalapeno. It is readily available here in the Dallas area and I am all about keeping the seeds. The seed is what gives you the heat, so why are we gonna waste that, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing to my jalapenos. Not should I put a lot of jalapenos or no jalapenos for you? What do you think? It's gonna be too spicy. Um, I don't really want it. No, okay, well I'm just gonna chop it and I'm gonna put a little bit so people can see about that. Okay. That's cool. I'm gonna use just half since I have little kids going to enjoy this dish with me. Chopping up my garlic a little bit more. And there, my mise en place is ready. Um, other than the lettuce, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this up. How's my red curry? Uh, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> so you can do one of two things with this lettuce. You can just tear them if you like. Kind of gonna go ahead and prep them on the plate. And this makes four edible portions for a family of four or two large portions as one dish. And um, so that's why we have so much lettuce right here. Um, there we go. I have all my meat, I'm gonna throw away all my trash, keep my area real clean. I'm all about cleaning as you go so that at the end, you don't have a lot to worry about. Okay. Red curry looking good, awesome. So I'm gonna start on our Pachima Wunsen. Wunsen means clear noodles. And they've been pre-soaked, so all we're gonna do is gonna do a couple of tablespoons in our uh, wok here. It's a non-stick wok, highly recommend. Wait, tablespoons of what? Uh, oil. Oh. Sorry, did I talk too fast? Yeah. And then you're gonna need a pair of tongs. So when that comes, up to heat, I have my pan on medium high. If you're starting off, you can um, do medium, and as you get more familiar with cooking Thai cuisine really fast, then you can cook it at a higher heat. Our um, woks here at home are literally probably ooh, one tenth of the heat that we can get in the restaurant, and um, that makes the biggest difference in the flavor profile. So we're gonna let it heat up and at the end I'm gonna share with you a little trick as well. So we have our garlic, our jalapenos. Stir fry that a little bit. I love the smell and the sizzle of garlic and chili in a pan for sure my favorite thing in the whole world really just makes me feel like home and once you get that fragrance releasing we're gonna add our two eggs mm, smells good and we're just gonna scramble it i should have did my one hand trick a lot of people like to ask me nikki nikki can you break an egg with one hand the common kid question that I get at my cooking classes. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Okay, when your egg is about halfway cooked, we're gonna add our noodles. Our red curry is coming to a nice simmer. Sorry, no. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our red bell peppers, our basil. Let that cook up. Oh, my egg's halfway there. Throwing in my noodles. Oopsie. It's a big bag of noodles. And a little trick here is to add about two ounces of water to steam the noodles up. Let 
the most important thing in your pack chemo. Um, you know what? Actually, I have not added our chicken. So if you have chicken in your pack, you want to go ahead and add the chicken after the eggs. My apologies. I'm actually going to eat this more of a vegetarian version today. We already have chicken in our red curry. My kids are getting hungry and hangry. So <laughs> we are not going to do chicken in our pack. Kima Wun Sin. If you are eating this vegetarian, I'm sorry, not vegetarian, gluten free, we did one modification. It will taste very different, um, but the sauce that we use in the pad Kima Wun Sin for you would be the, um, our fried rice sauce that's gluten free. You'll still get that flavor of the basil. You'll still get that flavor of the garlic and the chili, but um, they don't make a dark soy that is gluten-free. So apologies for that. Until somebody creates that for us, we're gonna use it. Okay, we have our sauce. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, slide it all down as much as possible. And then, Add it. Can you tell that my noodles are nice and soft compared to when yeah. you put it in? Perfect. Beautiful. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. Is the curry ready yet? It is. So we're gonna just let it simmer so that when we are ready to enjoy it, it will be ready to serve. I highly recommend eating red curry with jasmine rice, whether it be white or brown. If you don't love brown and your family doesn't love brown, a trick is you mix half brown, half white until people start getting used to brown. You can get more fiber and more vitamins in that way. I personally still love just our regular, um, regular white rice. So. Now we get to add in all the veggies. Again, I like my veggies still nice and crunchy and fresh, so basically I'll just enjoy this residual heat that's in my stir fry. It adds another dimension of flavor from the red bell peppers and tomatoes, adds a nice sweetness, a little tang. And then also my basil. Still get my basil to stay nice and green. How's that look, Knox? Good. Pretty colors? Yep. Red, green, yellow egg, brown noodles. And you'll see that my pan is very dry at this point. The noodle has soaked up all the yummy sauce and it is pretty much ready. Let me stir this. I'm gonna turn my fire down low because I don't want my noodles to um, get overcooked. However, if you do like that char burn flavor, this is where you want to turn up the heat, let the noodles hang out just a little bit, get some charred noodles going on, and then um, it is extra yummy. So there you go. I am going to get my plates ready. So I have two plates here. I'm just going to do two portions for my little ones. And like I said, this actually will have enough for four in addition to a good portion of the uh, red curry with some rice so we can enjoy like a three course meal in this pack. The other item that comes in this pack is um, the summer rolls and I hope you guys are going to be enjoying your summer rolls with the cracked sauce, I mean peanut sauce that is really yummy. We'll have to see if Skye's gonna eat our lettuce. <laughs> I can smell the garlic. Can you smell the garlic, Knox? Yeah. I can smell the little jalapenos. Got some basil going on. Okay, so there you go. The little the curry. colors and the curries. Let me serve up the curry. Thank you, Knox. So here we go. Oh, that's perfect. Smells amazing. It's so easy that we have already pre-seasoned. Oh, I need to turn off this. I'm like, why is it still crackling? Well, this is still on. Yeah, this is still on a simmer. So I'm gonna turn all my fires off. One thing I've been teaching Knox throughout this whole time. <laughs> turn your fire off, watch your fire, learn how to control your fire. 
So there you go. You have some red curry. You have your um, Hakima Winsen red curry, your side of rice, and you're ready to have a meal. It seemed like it only took me less than 10 minutes. How long has the video been going on? 15, 15 minutes. 15, there you go. I made dinner for four in 15 minutes with our meal kit. There you go. So before you start any of this, you can have your family really just rolling and having fun with the summer rolls. I'll do a separate video on how to make summer rolls with my kids and you'll have your rice going. If you have a rice cooker, use it. So much easier, leave it on warm all day so you can always have access to rice. That's what we do in Thailand. You always have access to warm rice when you're hungry. You just go to the rice cooker and you're good. Um, awesome. So there you go. This kit's coming out very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna post this on my YouTube channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Click on the notification bell. We are going to be doing a lot of cooking so that we all can connect. We can see how we can have some fun in the kitchen and learn something new with our family and have a wonderful time. Thank you and thank you for feeding your soul with me today. Sawadee